This week's super senior, it would have been unthinkable just a few years ago to be in the business he's in now. The 81-year-old rarely speaks about it, but he does tonight with our Joe Carroll. High up a hill in central Vermont. You want to pick off those ones? Yep. Jim Coots and his grandson, Austin Underwood, are right in the middle of a budding business. I would say they're about two weeks into flower. Yeah. The duo started Montwood Hollow, the growing cannabis, or by its most common name, marijuana, an operation that only a year ago would have been illegal. I think probably my father would roll over in his grave if he knew I was doing it. Licensed by the state, they have 125 plants on what is called a Tier 1 operation, the smallest possible. There's, there's another good one. They asked me not to disclose where the operation is located. It's a lot to learn. It's, uh, it's not as easy as just planting a couple flowers and hoping they're going to bloom and you're going to get a good yield. Jim's well aware that some of his friends would be surprised that he's the director of a cannabis operation. Not going to believe it. <laughs> In case you're wondering if he uses this for recreational use, no, nope. he's got an answer. Never even tried it. My grandson's offered it to me in the years past, but no, I, I don't believe in smoking. Jim does consume cannabis. The reason is sobering. Last year, the 81-year-old was diagnosed with bladder cancer. Part of growing old is making sure you keep busy. Jim dries, crushes, and then boils to flour. So I've been using it as tea. I don't use the THC part for the hallucinogenic. I just use the straight tea. He says it keeps the nausea down while he's going through chemotherapy. But the teas have allowed me to eat better, to be more active, to have more energy, which I didn't have. And Jim says the chemo is keeping the cancer at bay. It's grown quite a bit in just a week. Are you proud of your grandfather? Oh, immensely. It's a very fragile crop. How do you know so much about this? Read, learn from him. We've attend attended seminars. When you go to a seminar, you kind of stand out? A little bit, a little bit. There aren't too many of them even close to my age, I don't think. Teresa, Jim's wife of 61 years, has reluctantly accepted the new family venture. Austin is all into selling the potent pot for recreational use. There is still stigma, though, with growing it. There is. There is. I don't tell a lot of people that, you know, where we're at or what we're doing or how we're doing it. But. Jim's far from an aging hippie. With a master's degree in business administration, he once was the regional rep for AARP and even Elk of the Year for a local chapter. The older generation is definitely has the larger stigma still. So grandpa's definitely like against the grain in a lot of way. And this one's in between. A family finding a new way to work the land in a changing Vermont. These are actually coming good too, huh? Joe Carroll, Channel 3 News, somewhere in central Vermont. <laughs>